Well guys, today we're going to take a look at a brand new lock. This is called the Stealth Key by a company called Urban Alps out of the Czech Republic. Mine was shipped out of Florida, so some company down there is the local dealer. I actually saw this lock first on Adrian Weber's channel, and I guess a couple weeks ago he popped out, showed the, the door version of this, which was a little bit expensive for my blood, so I ended up buying this one. This is an Anchor Loss 830-3 lock body, and I, it, not a cheap lock in itself, but much cheaper than the door version. I paid for this 148 euros and that's DHL delivered to me direct but so shipping was included. So 148 euros is about 167 dollars and you get the lock and you actually get three keys two of which you see right here and another one I'm going to show you in just a minute. Uh, you also get a key card and there's your key card and a couple of interesting things about this. First of all the code it's like a scratch off ticket for the lottery. The code's underneath there. So I can show this to you, but what's interesting is that when you grab one of these little keys, these are all individually 3D printed out of metal. And for those of you who are right now are saying, oh, that's not strong enough, trust me, it's strong enough. And you'll see why in just a minute. Uh, on the key right there, we see my serial number, which of course is right there. It's on all of the keys. It also tells you the group number. So this apparently is the first batch that they have sold. And you see a 02. My other one, I think you see a 03. I also have a 01, but I can't show it to you right now. But I will in a minute. Um, right away, you know the lock is tough, but when you take a look at this guy, it almost looks like, I mean, like a smiling alien. I mean, it's really a weird weird keyway. But when I saw this, I thought, ah, they screwed up. I can tension it. Well, let's take a look at how it works. First of all, you slide the key in and rotate it 90 degrees, very smooth, and the thing just falls open. So very cool. But we'll notice when it turns, you see the top of that sleeve, it also is turning. So I thought that was a weakness. And if, if your sole objective is to tension the lock, yeah, it's a weakness. So I just, when I've had it, uh, when I got it about a week ago, right away, slid the tensioner in there, and it's perfect. And you can put super light tension all the way up to incredible Hulk tension. And I got to tell you, I tried them all. I can't get a single one of these things to bind. So let's cheat and look at the key. Um, whoa, we're not going to be able to do that. I mean, that's because, that's, that's why they call it the stealth key. When you look at the front, we see these little winglets hang over. So the bidding is actually up inside of there. And when you look down the front here... Let me grab a flashlight. You might be able to see maybe the first one or two of the biddings on each side, but nothing, you can't see anything beyond that. Really cool. Uh, so I took key number one. I wanted to see it. So I mangled them. I and this is how I know how tough these guys are. I mean, really, really, you're never going to break a key. I can promise you that. Um, I don't own stock in the company. I'm not getting any kickbacks, and I'm giving the lock away. So... Uh, the first time I tried it, I used my Dremel tool and ground it off, but I went a little too far, but you can kind of get an idea. We got a high, we got some low, we got some highs back here. I wanted a better look. So the other side, I actually weakened it on the back side and then bent it around. And when you look down in there now, I think you can see the bidding. So there's a high one, low, there's a medium, there's a high, medium, and a low. So there's at least four or five, <clears throat> five sliders on each side. I don't know how many, I'll be honest with you, because no matter how much tension I put on this, not a single one of those sliders would bind for me. I tried everything I could think of. I tried single pin picking it with a standard pick. I tried using a dimple pick. I even tried an electro pick. I tried raking it. I tried everything. And for the last week, many hundreds of attempts, this stealth lock didn't even give me the satisfaction of a fault set. When you try to jiggle it, it barely move, so very, very good tolerances. So I'm going to speculate here. I would love to take this apart and show it to you, but unfortunately, uh, it doesn't come apart. And I'll show you why in just a moment. But when you look in there, you can see we have sliders over there, and they're all angled based on the key. They're all angled up. Let me get a probe from. So on this side, all of them are pointing up in that direction. And on this side, they're all pointing up in that 
direction. So that tells me that they're interlinked, you know, alternating, and there's probably, and this is again pure speculation, uh, probably two separate sidebars in here, one on each side. So these are basically independent locks, and the precision is so good that no matter how much tension you put on it, neither one of them bind up to bind up those, those discs. So I don't know what else to do, guys. I wish we could take it apart, and I'll show you why. Um, anyway, let's open it up. So we slide that dude in there, rotate 90 degrees, get it open. Flip this in. I already, I already had it open one time to make sure I had the right tool. Get in there. Now, by the way, it's a standard oval. So there's your oval. Here's a standard European oval. So it's the same size. You could interchange pretty much any core. And we knew that in the anchor loss. They did think ahead. It has a little adapter on the back of here. Um, there's nothing underneath it. I took it off to take a look, and what was I looking for? I wanted it to pop the core. I wanted to take that thing out. There are no snap rings on it. Uh, I did take this out, and all that is, it's for the ball bearings that index the core. When it rotates to a certain point, like right there, the ball bearings will index. Uh, you can take that ball bearing out, but it doesn't get you anything. So, there's no other, this is a, a when it goes all the way through. I tried taking a piece of wire and ramming it through there. I tried a detent thing. I tried grabbing it with pliers. And what I believe, based on the way this is reacting, is that the tailpiece is probably hydraulically pressed into the lock. It's probably indexed, and then they hydraulically press it in there. So I tried grabbing it with the pliers and pulling it, and I got nothing. I don't want to destroy a $166 lock, particularly since this is the giveaway. So I guess it's going to remain a mystery as to how many sidebars and whether or not these sliders are all interlinked and that there are actually two locks built into one. I really wish, you know, I really would love to know what's inside of this thing, but not today. Anyway, guys, this will be the giveaway, the, the stealth key by Urban Alps built into this this anchor loss 830-3. I'll put it all back together. If you want to know how to win this beauty, stick around and I'll tell you. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal. All you need to do is navigate to locklab.com, the tribal website, and scroll down in the middle of the page. You'll see all the giveaway buttons Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But the one you're looking for is the weekend review giveaway, Purple Band. Just click on it. It'll take you to the registration page. Again, scroll to the bottom, put in a good email address. So if you win, I can get in touch with you to let you know. Put in a username, doesn't matter what it is, and click Submit. When you're done, you'll get a green check mark confirming your entry. Thanks, guys. 